What's going on on my YouTube? It is, I'm Jacob, and welcome to another edition of Vlog in the Movies. I'm your host, Jacob, and in today's vlog video, I'm actually going to do a deep dive into a movie that I just found out about recently for two things. One, Mike from Did You See That just recently did a review of this movie on his channel where he collabed with Rashad G Reviews and did a review of this movie for his Michael J. Fox project throughout the month. Two, it was also brought up on in Michael J. Fox's memoir, Lucky Man, which I just recently read for my second channel. A uh, very fantastic read. And so today, or tonight, as I'm technically watching this at night, I'll be watching the 1982 film See if you can see it. Class of 1984. Released in 1982. And looking at that synopsis, it's a new teacher at a troubled inner city high school ends up clashing with the delinquent leader of a punk posse that runs the school. I have not heard of this movie until very recently. And I did come and find out this was the second feature film Michael J. Fox was in. His first was a Disney film called Midnight Madness, which I have seen. Then he did Class of 1984. Then he did the sitcom Family Ties. And then his big break, Back to the Future. So that's some good tidbits right there. I know very little about this movie, except the little bit that was mentioned in Mike's review and collab. And it sounds like it's going to be like this brutal, gritty action film that's pretty intense to watch at times but you know what if it's a fun entertaining ride and the movie executes its premise very well i'm excited to check out this what i assume to be a hidden gem so i'm about to watch tubi after i take a quick shower and you'll find out my thoughts after i check out this 80s film class of 1984 <laughs> of 1984. Is this the future? Take a look at my face. I in the future. So I just finished watching Class of 1984. Wow. <laughs> this movie was wild. Like I wasn't prepared on how crazy this movie was. Mike, Rashad, you weren't kidding when you talked about how brutal this movie would be. But it is a really, really good movie. If you come in expecting that Michael J. Fox is the lead of this movie, you'll be disappointed. He has a very minor role in this movie. And he's not even credited as Michael J. Fox. He was Michael Fox. That's before I guess he added the J. Which, fun fact, with Lucky Man, a book I just read, he wasn't born Michael J. Fox. He was actually Michael A. Fox. But he added the J because he thought Michael A. Fox would just sound weird. And also he's Canadian, so it would be like, Michael A. So he added the J to pay tribute to a character actor that also went by Michael J. So that's kind of a neat little trivia there. But this movie is really insane. Michael J. Fox, like I said, he has a minor role. He's really good. You can definitely see why he became a big actor when you see the small scenes he's in because he commits to the role. He pretty much has similar character traits that he does in other movies. Like he's very snarky and jokey, makes a lot of quips. But... He plays that very well even in this movie. No, the main premise of this movie, you have a teacher. Turns out he's played by an actor named Perry King. And he goes, he transfers to this school. He's a music teacher. And this is like a very, very rough environment. Like it's overrun by this punk gang. And they are like the nastiest kids. Like... They rule this school with an iron fist and you don't want to mess with them or else they'll go crazy. Like, they'll poison kids with drugs and make them go suicidal and they'll go after you. They'll blow up your car if you mess with them. And 
Man, they do crazy stuff. Like, they, the main character's wife even gets raped at one point. I'm like, ugh, this is going to get pretty hard to watch at times. But whew, we got to get to the payoff of this movie. The payoff of this movie. This movie was pretty controversial when it came out. Like, I think some people just didn't like the violence that was in that movie. People criticized, like, why is this guy going after these kids? Isn't that a little brutal teacher going after these kids? But, you know... First, he's going after them in self-defense because they went after him first. Two, it's also a pretty much over-the-top fictionalized revenge story, too. You just have to go along for the ride. And some of the ways these characters go out, I'm not going to spoil it here. you got to watch it for yourself. But, whoo, I was in utter shock at some of the death in this movie. It was insane you gotta check this movie out just to see how bonkers this movie gets and how over the top the violence is especially for an 80s movie like this they got pretty creative on this movie you it is a crazy experience you have to check out the performances are really good the guy playing the head of the punk gang is really good like you hate this character from scene one and he plays the sliminess to a T so well Perry King I'm not familiar with him as an actor but he's pretty good Michael J. Fox like I said is really good uh, Ryan McDowell has a minor role in this movie as well and he has this one sequence where he goes unhinged because he's fed up with what's going on in the school and that sequence where he goes crazy is some of the best acting I've ever seen from Roddy McDowell. He is phenomenal in this movie. The score is really good. There's like a, even a theme song by Alice Cooper called I Am The Future, which is really good. It fits the tone of the movie. I thought this was a really good movie. Now, it is hard to watch at times. There's even a couple scenes where I'm like, they went a little too far. I will say, like when we focus on the... The uh, punk gang, there's this one scene where they, like, force a woman to strip down in front of him. Like, do we really need that? That's a little too much. However, the core of the movie is really good. I like the conflict. Uh, the main character is really, in, uh, the main character's likable enough. You want to root for him. You want him to succeed. You want him to be the good teacher he's meant to be. Have a nice life his wife and upcoming kid the wife is pregnant in this movie which makes the uh, whole situation more intense and the payoff of this movie is incredible the movie is worth watching just for the final 20 minutes alone to see this guy take out the punk gang once and for all that is the big strength of class of 1984 so if you have not seen this movie i do highly recommend it it is hard to watch at times but it's worth watching to get to the final payoff. I was able to find the film on the streaming service Tubi. So if you have that, it's a free streaming service with ads. But the ads aren't that obnoxious. So it's one I definitely recommend checking out if you want something raw. If you want something over the top crazy. If you want a more violent over the top 80s revenge film than... Class of 1984 is for you. I'll be giving the film a 4 out of 5 stars. And on the 100 point scale, it's getting a 77 out of 100. So I hope you enjoyed my little video where I got to share my initial reaction on the movie Class of 1984. Once again, big thanks to Mike from Did You Z That for recommending this one. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check out his YouTube channel. If you've seen Class of 1984, let me know down in the comments below would you follow the film. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, I usually do movie reviews, TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!